Hi, I'm Ben Volan, NFL writer at the Boston Globe. Today we're going to cover some of the key plays from the Patriots' 23-3 win over the Buccaneers using images from the coach's film. The first topic today will be Tom Brady and his inconsistent performance this season. He was certainly a lot better against the Bucs than he was against the Jets and completed 25 of 36 passes overall for 225 yards. But he still was shaky at times in the pocket and was once again inaccurate with more than a few of his throws. Here in the first photo, he has Aaron Dobson wide open on a short slant route, but throws wide for the incompletion. It's possible that Dobson stops short on his route, but this is a throw Brady usually completes. This play is a designed play-action throwback to the tight end coming across the formation, in this case Zach Sudfeld. But Brady never looks downfield, where both Kembrell Tompkins and Julian Edelman are running wide open, waving their hands. Safety Mark Barron even fell down on the play, and Brady could have had an easy touchdown instead of an incomplete pass. And on this interception in the end zone, not only was Barron directly in the path of the ball when Brady threw it, but Aaron Dobson, the intended receiver in the back of the end zone, was completely blanketed by the cornerback. Brady, sh Brady should have thrown it away instead of forcing the throw. The second play I want to break down is the unsung hero, Stephen Ridley. His numbers weren't great on Sunday with just 11 rushes for 35 yards, but his outstanding performance in pass protection enabled three plays to execute properly. On a third and four play in the second quarter, we see Ridley chip the blitzing linebacker to give Tom Brady enough time to hit Aaron Dobson streaking across the middle for a 16-yard gain. Later on the same drive, Ridley again gets a perfect chip on the linebacker, giving Brady enough time to hit Kembrell Tompkins over the middle, which he turns upfield and into the end zone for the Patriots' first touchdown. And in the third quarter, Ridley, on the ground, knocks down blitzing safety Mark Barron, allowing Brady to hit Dobson across the middle for six yards on third and two. Now let's take a look at the Patriots' defense. They used several different defensive alignments to try to confuse and contain Bucks quarterback Josh Freeman. Here we see early in the first quarter the Pats using an, an unusual combination, a 4-3 under front designed to, designed to stop the run paired with a secondary designed to slow down the pass, three cornerbacks playing press man coverage, and a single deep safety, Devin McCourty. The Pats also showed this defense with a 3-4 front later in the game. In the second half, when the Bucks were forced to pass more, the Patriots showed a sugar rush in which everyone but Vince Wilfork starts to play in a stand-up stance to disguise the pressure. And a common tactic throughout the game was for the Patriots to blitz the A-gap, mostly with Brandon Spikes, but also Gerard Mayo and Dante Hightower. On this play, Spikes did a good job of shedding his blocker and bringing Doug Martin down after a four-yard gain. I'm Ben Volan of the Boston Globe, and those were the key plays in the Patriots' 23-3 win over the Buccaneers.